Hey, this is John from Alloy211. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the utility or lack thereof of laser bore cider and helping you cut down on the amount of time and rounds it takes to get your optics on target at the range. Now, I'm not going to be going into much on the particular setup or how to use a laser bore cider because there are lots of videos about that already. But I'd never used one until recently, so i am got a pretty raw and open perspective on them. So. Having never used one before, I thought I'd make a video and say whether I thought that it was worth taking the time to buy one and have one and use one. Recently, I acquired a few different optics for a few different caliber of firearms that I wanted to try out. And so anything that could help me save on ammunition, as ammunition is expensive, and time, because it's hard for me to get time to go to the range, would be great. Now, there are a few different types of laser bore starting devices. Generally, they go into two different categories, either ones that go into the muzzle or attach at the muzzle or ones that go into the chamber. Now, if you look at the ones that go into the chamber, you'll see those as single chamber inserts from $5 and up. And for the ones that go in the muzzle, you can find them like this one for sub $15 to, I, I did see some for as high as 65, but those did look really, really nice. I saw a name brand one that is about the exact same as this for $30. So. I wouldn't spend more than $15 and I'd buy the same one because they all work in the same manner. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. All, all of the Arbor ones work in the same manner. Now, ones that go in the chamber, they work differently. You have a chamber insert that actually goes in the chamber and then the laser goes out that way. Ones like this actually go in the muzzle. So anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. And just kind of a quick rundown of what you have inside. You have a foam insert, a couple Allens, some batteries, a little battery holder, some Arbors that fit down into the barrel. This one fits calibers 22 to 50. So a wide variety, wide variety of calibers. That's actually one of the reasons why one of one of these Arbor style uh, laser bore siders is because I have a variety of calibers to do and buying a chamber insert for each one of those would just be economically not feasible for me. So if it's going to help me out, it had to be cheap. So less than $15, also pretty good. Now something I should have done when I first got this was pull all this stuff out because down below all the rest of the stuff, you have the handy dandy instructions for the Golden Future Laser Bore Sight Culminator. So, these are important, you do need the instructions, and you do want to use them. So, now when I first used it, I didn't actually use the instructions because I didn't realize they were in the bottom of them. If I'd have read through them, I would have realized that the laser is calibrated from the factory, that you have a, these Allens around here. Don't mess with those because they're supposedly calibrated from the factory. I ended up having to do some recalibration with it. So, read the instructions, they're in the bottom. You wouldn't look there first, but well, that's where they are. So, and basically, I'm not gonna put the laser, put the lasers, put the batteries in here just because I don't want to have a wild laser spinning around. But generally, well, I'll put them in there for a second because you know why not? Batteries go in this way, and then they tip. You've got a little bit of a lip here. They tip down, slide in there, go down there, and then that holds that in place. Well, there we go. There we go. So there you go. There's your batteries. That's how it works. Now I've got a wild laser spinning around the room. It's like a little disco. Anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and take that out before I shoot my eye out. Not even a Red Rider BB gun. Anyway, you have a little screw hole there and you pick an arbor that fits that. Screw it in there. Well, it fits your barrel, but not fits that. They all fit that. But see like that, that's too small. Like I said, I'll do kind of a quick demonstration. I'm not really gonna show you how it works so much as you do have some very good instructions in there. Let's see about that one. Yep, that one fits. Okay, so basically how you'd use this, although, you know, I may have picked up, no. Nope. Picked a good one. Okay, go ahead and put the arbor in, and then you tighten it. You want to tighten it until 
Well, hold on, let's pull this back out real quick. If you look, you can see this is tapered here. Oh, let's have it on camera. Towards the back end, where that plastic bushing goes, it's tapered. And if you look where that screws in there, each one of these arms can actually be pushed out. So as you screw this in, it will flare. Well, you might use a screwdriver. I guess that is why they included a screwdriver. It will flare out. So not actually used this one before. I don't have any 40 caliber firearms. I needed optics put on as of yet. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good for our purposes. And actually, I think this is going to slide out into the chamber. Yeah, it did. So really, you'd need to expand it more if you're going to do it on a pistol like this. But basically, you expand your arbor out to hold it centered, and then you push this in. As you can tell, it's beveled, shaped like a cone. Push that in so it's centered in the muzzle. So there you go. That's how it goes in there. Yeah, Like I said, I'm not going to go too much into the use of it. Other than that, that's about as far as I'm going to go. If you want to know more, read the instructions. So now my feelings on does it save time and ammunition? Well, if you read the instructions, you don't, you know, uncalibrate the laser in there, then yes, it definitely could save time. Um, and it definitely helped get my left and right right on. Now, if you're using this indoors at short ranges to try to set it up, your uh, elevation is definitely going to be a little wonky and a little harder to do if you're at a very very close range. So that was a little off for me on the first couple shots on the first firearm I used with it. Now after that, it was better because I realized I needed to adjust it even more. So left and right, it was almost dead on first shot. I was really happy with that. Left and right tends to be the hardest for me to do. Um, so that was right on the up and down. I think I had it adjusted within maybe five shots. So really all in all for a less than $15 item, it probably saved me $15 in ammunition just in the few optics I've used on it so far. So in my opinion, if you had one or two optics to set up on one caliber of firearm, well, if you only had one caliber of firearm and if you wanted to set multiple optics on it, I'd actually say a chamber insert would be probably worth the money. But otherwise, if you only had one optic to set up, would I say go ahead and buy this? Eh, maybe, maybe not. If you're a well-heeled individual, less than $15 is really not that much money, so go ahead and pick one up. But definitely, if you had multiple calibers and multiple optics to set up, something like this can save you a lot of time at the range and potentially save you a fair amount of ammunition. So all in all, in my opinion, definitely worth less than $15, less than $20 even. I wouldn't pay more than $20 for it, but that's me, myself, and I'm kind of cheap about things. So if you like this video, if it helped you decide whether you wanted to buy a laser bore sighter or not, I'd really appreciate a like. If you watch some of my other videos and you enjoy those too, I'd really appreciate if you subscribe. So have a great day.